everyone and welcome back. As we got the official teasers for the new DLC right from Rockstar itself, I decided to post this final video regarding the business related topic and its series of videos. This is like the final piece to the puzzle which completes the whole series. So I decided to go with this without you know delaying further. And regarding the DLC thing, this is probably the first time Rockstar has ever done anything this type. They released a second teaser trailer for the Casino DLC with more information regarding it. First, they shared just a 10 second video telling us that the casinos are coming. Then 3 days back, they shared another post with more information regarding the DLC along with a 10 second long video. But usually, earlier they would just post one trailer before the DLC release date. Which actually changed during the After Hours DLC as they did one teaser and a trailer before the release of the DLC. But this time it's completely different and to top it off we still don't know when the DLC is coming. So we can expect more of such teasers and trailers in the upcoming weeks until the time the DLC is going to drop. Coming back to the topic of this video, well in the previous set of videos I talked about businesses in general, buying them, setting them up, making millions from them, defending raids and just about everything in general. I even made a video talking about the best locations to buy businesses at in order to be more efficient and time saving during money making times. But over time I got loads of people asking me about this particular thing whilst in the game almost all the time. And as I hadn't talked about or mentioned anything regarding this in any of the videos, I decided to make one as it will benefit almost all of the solo players. The main advantage is that you don't have to depend on anyone to do these. In the earlier days of my GTA, I too was just like everyone else depending on friends or other good friendly players to do this work. Now it's good to have someone to help you as it saves time as well as it's less work upon you. But the reality is you won't have someone to help you all the times you need them. Also sometimes they might be busy in other missions or work. It's nice if someone's helping you but as I said most of the times you'll be left solo. And also we should consider the fact that there are so many solo players playing the game with little to no friends at all. So knowing these methods or ways will greatly benefit you in literally every day as well as in the long run. I too started running solo after realizing all these and I did find many easy ways and methods you know that could be done solo instead of depending on anyone else. And also as the new DLC is coming soon, you all better rack in some good cash before it releases. We all know how Rockstar prices them and how ridiculously overpriced everything is going to be. So I would say get on the game and start accumulating money. Okay now, coming down to the first business I want to talk on the list is the bunker. I'll go with the same order I've been doing in all the videos. You know it'll be in a systematic manner and also I won't be going in depth into all of these as I've already made separate videos going in depth into all of the necessary topics. I'll be linking those above as we go along the video as well as in the description down below. So I'll only be talking about the topic I mentioned in this video. So with the bunker there are 5 types of vehicle sale methods you get. And the number of vehicles depends on the size or percentage of products you sell. Like say 0 to 25% you get only 1 sale vehicle. For 26 to 50% you get 1 to 2 vehicles. For 51 to 75% you get 2 to 3 vehicles. And 76 to 100 percent of products you get vehicles ranging from 2 to maximum 4. It is best advised to sell when it's below 25 percent to get just one sale vehicle and be on a safer side. But exceeding that is risky as you'll get more than one and also raise the chances of not completing the sale. If you're very fast then you can make it before the timer runs out but it's still kinda risky and it's a stress you gotta bear. So why go through all that instead you can be on the safer side selling just one vehicle and also be calm the whole time. Also let me tell you this, you won't get any bonus if you sell full products that is 100%. So it doesn't really matter if you sell at 25% or 100%. And that's why I suggest you to be on the easy safer side and sell low. There's also another major major benefit in selling low, that is the rates. Yes you heard me right, the rates on businesses. I've made a detailed video on this topic titled as how to never get raided in any of your businesses. Check it out and you too can handle all the businesses peacefully without the worries of getting raided. 
and also regarding the types of vehicle sales you get in this well they are one dune fav's two the marshall monster trucks three the two types of insurgent pickup customs and the fifth one being the phantom wedge first one the dune fav you'll get five drops per vehicle so if you are solo and get more vehicles then you will fail to complete the sale so one vehicle is the best choice second one is the marshall monster truck for this two you'll be getting five drops per vehicle so once again you will fail to complete the sale if you are solo and get more vehicles if you are too fast then you can manage to get the two vehicles to deliver but not more than that third and fourth are the insurgents now why i mentioned about the two types is because there are two versions in them the black wheels one and the chrome wheels one the chrome wheels one is just one drop you just pick up the insurgent pickup and drop it at a certain mark location and that's it the black wheels one has five drops so if you get like three insurgents that will be like 15 drops so the chrome wheels one you can deliver more than one vehicle if you are solo but you can't do the same with the black wheels one fifth and final one is the phantom wedge these are also just one drop sales so even if you get the maximum two of them you can still be able to deliver them to the locations if you are fast now going to the next business on the list are the MC businesses. With this business there are actually 9 types of vehicle sale methods you get. And the number of vehicles depends on the size or percentage of products you sell similar to the bunker. But there are certain changes. Unlike the bunker where if you had less than 25% you would get just one sale vehicle, in the MC it doesn't seem like that. Very recently I sold the coke products when it was below 25% products and to my surprise, I got two garbage trucks. Now, I wouldn't have minded if I was selling 75% products, as it would have been worth it. But for just 25%, it's totally not worth it. The next time I tried, I got two bikes for less than 25% products. Again, it's not worth it. The best way to sell the MC products is when the product bar is full. Yes, you heard me right. You don't need to worry like the bunker. You alone can do almost all the sale missions solo. The only mission that you can never complete is the post of van one. The second toughest is the garbage truck one. It's not impossible but way too hectic. And regarding the types of vehicle sales you get in this, there are two types of bike methods. Pounder truck one, the garbage trucks, the post of vans, the buzzard helis, dodo seaplanes, boats and the duffel bags. The two types of bike methods are delivering the bikes to the back of trucks and the other being the undercover cops mission. Both can be done solo without any worries. Just use fast methods to travel back to the location. Next is the pounder which is easy one vehicle. The garbage trucks as I said are hard but not impossible. Another tip here is that whenever you get 15 drop sales and you complete 14 of them before the timer runs out, it will still be considered as complete and you'll get full sale money. So you don't need to be worrying about you know losing out just because you miss one of the sale drop. Next is the post of one. Well, don't even bother trying to sell if you're solo. If you get this, then just change sessions and you'll lose a tiny bit of products. You can sell again once you fill up completely. The buzzard helis, dodo seaplanes and the dinghy boat cell missions will all have 3 vehicles in them. But they are fairly simple and you can complete them solo easily. The duffel bags mission you only get when you have someone else in your motorcycle club. So no worries about that if you are solo. One thing to keep in mind is that if you die during those missions then you will lose the duffel bag as well as the products and the money. So be very careful. Before we go to the next business, I would like to mention that I have made a top 5 best business investments video. Do check it out to know and make good investments so you can make some good money before the casino DLC drops. Ok, the third business on the list is the CEO Crates business. In this, there are actually 6 types of vehicle sale methods you get. Now this too works on the similar principle as the two earlier ones but instead of more, you get different size as well as they shuffle. Say you are making a sale with about 90% products and you get one sale vehicle. The same might be the case when you go to sell just 2-3% to products after you have made like 2-3 to sales. So it's not always particularly about the size. But nonetheless you can do all the sale missions solo without depending on anyone else except one particular mission which Rockstar purposefully puts it regularly during the double money event weeks. 
because the way they have designed it, it's bound to fail. And also if you're solo, then the other version is literally going to make you fail. More about this in just a minute. Regarding the types of vehicle sales you get in this, there are two types of brigade sales, tugboat, Cuban 800 plane delivery and two types of Titan plane deliveries. First one are the two types of brigade delivery methods. The main thing is that the number of brigades you get depends on the size of cargo you sell. Now with the types of delivery, first method you will only get one delivery location and the second is you'll get five delivery locations, both of which are easy and can be done solo. Next is the tugboat. You only get one boat no matter the size and you need to deliver it to the mark location. Simple as that. Next is the Cuban 800 plane delivery. There will be three planes depending on the size. All you gotta do is take the plane and deliver it to the marked location. Sometimes there will be enemies at the place. Take them out and deliver. These two can be done solo. So no worries regarding that. The final ones are the two types of Titan plane delivery. First type is simple. Take the Titan and drop cargo at 5 markers on the map. Simple as that. Can be done solo. Second type is the worst one. The one I talked about earlier. There will be 10 markers and you need to drop cargo all around the map. The bad part is two Valkyries and two Buzzards come after you shooting at the plane, which doesn't even give the plane a chance to survive till the final delivery marker. The worst part is that this mission is filled with bugs. The drop markers have bugs in them like after you make 8 sales, the 9th and 10th one won't even accept the drops. I myself have reported this particular mission over 6 times and with video proof and still nothing has been done to this. The professional too has made videos on his channel and yet Rockstar has done nothing to fix this. They just want players to lose their hard earned money. I don't want to go in depth into the topics so if you ever get this mission then just force close the application. That will save you the trouble. You can log back in, fill up the 2-3 to three crates lost and go sell again with a different sell mission. Now before we go to the next business, I would like to say that I have made a video talking about the best locations to buy businesses in order to be more time saving and efficient in money making. So do check it out to be smart in money grinding. Okay, the fourth business on the list is the import export business. Now this business is fairly simple and is also done solo by almost everyone. So I won't go further talking about this. but. I would like to mention that I have made a detailed video regarding this business titled as how to make millions from import export business. Main thing is that I have talked about how to only source top range cars and also how to get 100% with no repair or damage costs in the video. Knowing these will greatly benefit you in money making and the long run. So make sure to check out all the videos. I'll be linking them at the top and in the description down below. Now going to the next business on the list, it is the nightclub underground business. This was the latest business added into the game and it is also fairly simple. You get only one sale vehicle no matter what size the products you are going to sell. I even made a video regarding this whole topic and everything else right from the beginning till the end. So make sure to check that out too. Now before I go to the final one, I thought I would add this here just so new players or broke players can go through it and implement such while they play now so they too can make good amounts of money and be ready for the new casino DLC when it drops. It's a video titled how to go from broke to millionaire part 2 video. Go through this and also other business related videos to learn all the best ways to make money in the fastest ways possible. Now going to the final business in the game, it is the hangar business. I didn't want to include this in the list as it's so terrible in the money making aspect. But in the end I included for those few people interested in doing this. Hence it's placed last on the list. So for the types of vehicle sales you get in this are a total of 8. They are Havoc, Bambushka, Skylift, Mogul, Hunter, Cargo Bob, Alpha Z1 and the Sea Breeze. Now instead of going through all of them individually, I'll save the time both for you as well as me. Just keep the crates count to below 10 and you'll get the least number of sale vehicles. The Havoc sale type is the only one that gives 3 helis even if you are selling just 1 crate. That number raises to total 8 helis for the highest number of crates. And also the Mogul mission. Don't bother doing that mission as you'll get enemy helicopters you know, shooting at you so you will need another player at the gunner position to shoot those enemy helicopters down. Frankly it's best advice to have someone with you during sale. 
also sell only during double money else it's not at all worth it if you ask me then i would say to stay away from this business completely don't even bother about this stick to the other five businesses all right everyone that's it for this video if you have any topics you want me to address to then let me know in the comments down below i go through all the comments do hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned to the channel also share the videos with your friends in order to help them too thank you all and have a good day